Hi, my name is Hayes and I'm a photographer and I just got back from the Salon de la Photo that was held in Paris and thought I would give you guys a little feedback about my experience there and meeting all these professionals from the industry. Give me a few ideas on how you can actually make a little bit more money with your photography. Yeah. This goes way beyond just taking pictures. Actually, taking and making pictures represents only maybe less than 10% of my activity as a professional photographer. So what do I actually do when I'm not taking a picture, when I'm not searching for new clients, uh, scouting for a location, or actually retouching and editing my pictures? <laughs> As a photographer, I believe you have to be up to date with the technology that is out there. New software, new accessories, new gear, anything that can improve your photography and make you much more efficient woo, on the field. That is why events like this one exists. I learned new printing techniques. I had to touch the different papers that they had and I even had the chance to see some of my pictures printed on them to see the results. I am now thinking about maybe owning my own printer to print small, small prints at home instead of sending them to the lab. If you're a wedding photographer, lifestyle, portrait photographer, you can actually go there and discuss with brands and you know what, maybe make deals with them and see their new products. I'm actually thinking about my next exhibition and this Salon La Photo was a great way for me to project myself and actually think about a way to give my audience the best possible, my future audience the best possible experience. Which leads me to my first tip, actually if you want to make a little bit of money with your own work, print it and sell it. It's as simple as that. If you are starting out or not, another interesting thing about the Salon La Photo is conferences are conferences, talks and workshops. Uh, you can learn tons of things there from the business perspective of it to the artistic one. Experienced photographers and videographers are invited sometimes because they are ambassadors of huge brands there, but they're here to share their experience and sometimes their lighting and retouching techniques, which is great. Which leads me to my tip number two, if you have enough knowledge and experience to actually teach to somebody else, you can give workshops. It doesn't have to be huge, it can be one-on-one, -on -one, off or online. There are, I believe, tons of amateur photographers out there in your city that are begging to meet uh, a photographer like you that can help them improve their photography. Hmm. I've spotted a few French YouTubers there and this actually would be my third tip to make a little bit more money with photography. Making gear reviews is still growing. I'm discovering dozens of channels each week so you can actually make your own. Before jumping into this, check out the description box below. I've put some links to the channels that I actually follow that might inspire you. Of course, building a channel takes a lot of time, so be consistent and work hard. My fourth tip, my fourth tip is only one word. Contests. Contests. My fourth tip, <laughs> my fourth tip is my fourth tip is only one word. Contests. Participating at a contest, of course, brings you some exposure, but sometimes it can bring you much more. Yes, depending on the reputation of the contest, you can actually get published, win gear, and yes, you can win a few thousand dollars. Some of these contests are free and others need a little fee to participate. It all depends on you, on your work, and on actually the money you can invest in this. What's great about the Salon La Photo is you can actually meet a few professionals that can give you advice and a few tips on how to increase your chance to win these type of contests. Number five for me is maybe the most obvious tip I can give, it's meeting new clients. Always have a business card with you and your portfolio. You never know who you're gonna meet there. Most of the time, 
at the opening you have CEOs of some of the biggest brands in the industry that are present there so just in case you might stumble upon one of them be ready to present your work who knows you might be their next ambassador or maybe making their next campaign don't forget one thing us photographers are the ones that help them sell their products but don't get your hopes too high because you know what you obviously won't be the only one trying to show your work one last thing you can also save a lot of money at the salon la photo i had my camera sensor cleaned there for free yes for free almost all the brands were offering small discounts on most of the stuff they're selling there so this is a great way to save a little bit of money Personally, I also went there to test a few new cameras, the Sony A9, the A7R 3 uh, the Canon 5D Mark IV, and the 6D Mark II. I also hooked up with the Brown Color family, the French team, to discuss about future products, things that we might do together in the upcoming year, and we also had a few beers. Apparently it's not really hard to get an invitation to the Salon de la Photo so if you happen to be around at the same period next year it's worth the visit. The weather was horrible, it's November, it was raining, it was cold and I was supposed to make a few shoots there but I had to cancel all of them, almost all of them. But this will be developed in another video. So I might be there next year or not. You tell me, do you want to see more videos like this one or something more camera technology related in the future or something more in depth? I don't know, you tell me. Like always, give a little thumbs up for support and share this video even if you hated it. Like always, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. And like every week, I'm giving you rendezvous next Tuesday.